My name is Delifix and welcome back. We are playing as the Moth Swarm, a devouring hive, and we are taking things just a bit slow, and I'm enjoying that quite a bit. So, um, we are now in a very good situation where we could actually declare war, and I don't want to wait too long to actually claim these two planets because they are planets, they are food, and we like food. We like food. A lot because we like to eat that means that we'll have to uh, eventually fight their fleet power is inferior actually thinking that I could possibly do with just one fleet now the other one he is upgrading here so we won't be in the very first attack we'll just use this one now we have 845 already in terms of influence I'm not sure where to spend it on but um, yeah we're going to be claiming a few systems over there and over here as well, but we'll do that easy going. We don't have to uh, rush things. Uh, we also could not upgrade our star bases, which is a shame considering we can still build a bunch of them. I don't think I need to fear these uh, these guys. They're that dismissive of us. Um, they're xenophobes, of xenophiles actually. They love everyone, so they should love me as well. Uh, they're uh, well, me, 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 me. They're okay-ish. They are overwhelming. Eventually, we'll have to take them out. Eventually, that's not something that will happen quite, quite early on. Uh, in terms of naming, I'll uh, I'll do that next episode because I have a bunch of names that uh, should be in here. Uh, so next episode, we'll uh, we'll go over our leaders and. Um, yeah, you, you might see your name in there. If you left your name or your, your, if you left a comment on this series, you will be in there. It's not a where you leave your comment, you will be in every series. No, you'll have to do something for me. Let's just leave a comment. We still have a lot of colonization to do, and I think we don't want to wait too long. Uh, we need to make sure that our hive keeps growing. A growing population count is extremely important. If we look at them, they have 82, we have 130, I'd say we need to, um, well, double, double that quite a bit. These guys, 55, and they will go to zero quite soon. So, let's wait until these guys are there, 52 days remaining. Actually, let's not, let's declare war. We are absolutely hungry. Hungry we are. You don't have fleets, which is cool. We're going to send you all the way up there. So, want to take out this system first or the other? Um, let's go to this system. It's not their main capital, which is okay. There we go. The naval logistics offers. Yes, please. I like that. Fortress buildings. This will increase naval cap if you don't know what to build on your planet. And you say, you know, I have everything that I need. And I have I've done all of my, my districts. I've all of done all of my stuff. What, what should I make? Because I still have houses. Build fortresses. Uh, because they're amazing and they will boost your naval capacity making you all even more armies. So quite interesting. Let's take it uh, War deck of course because we just did that. Uh, I wonder where their fleets are and I'm actually thinking they are fighting over there So I'm not too worried about their fleets Yeah, I know not too worried about their fleets. Yes, he said that I do want to increase my um... oh, We need some houses over here we do could use some more of this and some more of that. <laughs> um, food is still okay, but we 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 need some more energy. We desperately need more energy. We need more alloys, uh, but that will come. It will come. All of it will come. It's just like I said. It's a semi-slow game where I just have a bit of fun. You go with him. We need those armies, and we'll go conquer some of these plants. But we'll take. Uh, plant then we'll go in from this end and just attack gore from the back and we'll take out these systems later are they nice ah, they're okay they're okay but we don't care about that it, the empire sprawl is annoying but we definitely need to keep focus on uh, research if our empire sprawl is going to be too big it uh, it will have a negative effect on our research so, I wonder what will happen here. I think the armies might be going to foul. If they were, then I would have seen them already. So, I don't think that is going to be happening. 10 population, no jobs available. Hmm, we got a new alien empire somewhere. 
which we should research as these guys. And I think, by the looks of it, they are not having a good time. Actually, it's them. Oh yeah, of course, they split them in half. Interesting. There is definitely something over here. It, it's too tiny to be a fallen empire. Or another empire look just like this. Maybe they have been going to war. Somewhat earlier. So there is a timed project. There is debris. Interesting, I like it. Where is a scientist? You. Are you actually the one that's closest? Yes, you are. Uh, research project over there. That's on pause. You are... How long are you going to last? It takes so long. It takes so bloody long. So we're waiting for the station to pop back up. Uh, in terms of armies, they only have two. So let's get our transports in here. Let's land these armies. Um, let's wait until you are back. Did we lose anyone? No, we did not. Oh, I'm quite happy about that. So... Station is back, let's prepare. You are a shipyard. Oh, that is interesting. That We might keep it. Uh, it has a... Um, no, well, maybe. Maybe. This would be a nice system to have a station in. Also, shield nullification is actually quite, quite interesting. Uh, drone learning campaign. Growth speed. Yes, we need that. Improved energy initiative. Mapping the stars. Let's go with the improved energy initiative. Consumer goods, negative uh, 5. I'm okay with that. I don't use it. So this is just a plus 10 on everything, I guess. Yeah, why not? So we did heal up. The other fleet is now also ready. You're 5 on 20. And you are also 5 on 20. Oh, we lost a... Um, we lost the, uh, the, the, the F79 class, so we can remove you and add the destroyer now. Let's do that. Uh, like I said, we're going over here. Actually, I would like to take all of this. But we'll do it step at a time. And we'll attack Gore from behind, and that would end the species. So, before we land our armies, make sure... You got all the systems that you want or care about. Oh, there's actually one more planet over here that we could claim. Interesting. We have low stability, of course, on this planet because we're now eating the population. Yes, we are eating the populace. Do we mind? No, we don't. Let's take a quick look at the kind of buildings. Now we've got a lot of districts here in terms of energy. I'm okay with that. Mm. And of course we're going to be growing our own species and the other ones are just going to be declining. They just don't know it yet. We have 10 that we are going to be purging. The low stability is something that we'll, uh, we'll eat. We'll eat the stability. Construction ship is not doing anything. Which is odd since I did think I gave it the order to do something. Just didn't. Okay. Well, well. Oh well, what can you do? Hmm. We might go for another fleet. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe three fleets? I, I like to uh, spread out. Just having one dedicated fleet like I had in my Dominion uh, stream, which is actually going absolutely horrible, um, is not helping. Uh, it, it, we can't, you know, uh, spread out and conquer. So let's go over to their capital city. Hopefully it's not too much in there. Like I said, we're not going to be taking it with armies. I might even put my armies in there for when the uh, war exhaust is getting too high. But I don't think that's going to happen. We'll have to take everything. There are 47 pops over here. Quite nice. That's, that's good food. That's good. Look at this. Plus, plus 7 tea on food. In terms of armies. Yeah. Mm, they have a few. Let's keep you over here. Let's see what you'll do. So they're heading out. Uh, let's put you on passive. Let's just uh, let you sit around there. While we get the other fleet in here as well. I wonder what they will do. 
Will they attack? Yes, they do. That's just what I want. I want them to attack me. Uh, once they did... Actually, I don't need you then. Go away. You go ahead. Attack. And then you can go to aggressive. They will take into the systems as well. I think we should do, do quite fine on this. So, here you go. Go aggressive. Go attack the station. Thank you. As for this. Wow, this is an important one. Um, <clears throat> population housing habitability is quite interesting we'll go up but these plans will go up to 55 uh, one building slot and resettlement cost reduction now we don't have to worry about this just yet I uh, normally research speed I'm not the person to care about, but the research speed itself is quite important. Research stations. So I'd say discovery and then perhaps synchronicity. Need upkeep, building speed, maintenance depot, amenities. Actually not too interesting. Look, the population, food consumption is quite nice. Um, we could also go for Supremacy, which is nice. Uh, Dominion, not so much for my type of empire. I'd say let's go with Discovery. Let's go with Discovery and let's make sure that we get that extra, extra amount of research. So there's still 700 here. We might need to need another ship though. There is still a good amount. Uh, yes, we'll choose through them quite soon. Uh, oh, yeah, we're, we're losing some ships here. So we'll send in the other fleet just in case. Because we might be just a bit too weak. This might be a bit more than I can handle. Uh, if we, I don't dare to pass it. Yeah, this, they're pushing us back. Until we get rid of those shields and armor. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this, this was a, a bit too much for us. Uh, you can see it. I'm still hoping that we can get rid of those ships. Uh, there we go. Uh, we, I think we might do. We, 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 we can do this. I think we can do this. Uh, come on, we can do this. We cannot do this. Oh, damn it. Uh, Fortress Buildings is done. Fleet Command Limit Gene Modification. Self-modify. That's, that's extremely... Ooh, let's pause it for a second. Oh, it's funny how it's paused and the, and the audio is still shooting. There we go. Finally. Peace and quiet. Fleet command limit. That might be interesting. Gene modification is nice as well, but it is so expensive. 27 months versus 9 and, and 14. Actually, let's go with tile blockers first. Let's go and make sure we get that out of the way. The other fleet is... Go in there, please. So, we are going to be retreating... So we have another ship. This will definitely boost the uh, the score against us a bit. But uh, we got some nice amount of alloys. It's fine. Uh, there's no additional housing. And we are building up energy by the looks of it. Uh, yes, we send prey. Go away. And we send more prey. Go away. Is that all of the prey? Yes, it is. So let's build you up. Um, we have no houses over here. And you are going to need some houses because I want to build more research on you. As for you... Food. Yeah, we don't need to... If we neglect food, it's going to be... Well, definitely come back to hunt us. Uh, this scientist is now done. We're going to keep you around here. So here is the enemy already incoming. So we need to go into this sector and we'll need to take this gore before they do that's all that matters and they by the looks of it will claim all of this which is fine it's uh it's okay as long as they don't take it they are superior they're actually overwhelming but this is because i just did a dum dum with my fleet yes and i'm going to call it the dum dum because i like the uh, the enunciation of it so Look, this, this fleet can't do anything. I don't care about it. Go away, go away. Biological site discovered. Hostile fleet is present. Ah, they're going to be catching up. They're just suiciding the fleets. 
Okay, so they jumped right on top of us. And they're losing everything now. They know it's over. It might even be best for us if they... Uh, let's do this. Uh, if they actually take the gold planet. Might be best. So economy-wise we can stabilize. Although, yeah, m probably not though. Yeah, this, this one this time we will definitely win. Uh, we'll have to hold on and heal up the fleet. We want to make sure that we keep our naval cap as high as possible because as soon as others say that we are weak, we have a bit of a problem because they will hunt us down and we don't want to. So let's do more alloys. Now we lost one of our ships. Hmm, they're going down a lot slower than I hoped. Uh, we have a declaration of a rivalry with the crime syndicate, who is... Oh, wow. It's not these guys. They are dangerous. Damn, they are dangerous. It's these fellas. I don't care for you. I don't care for you at all. Are you still allied to an unknown species? They were going to war, weren't they? I thought they were at war. No, they're not. Oh, they have a station over there. That's funny. So, yeah, we need to boost our uh, naval cap quite a bit. Otherwise, we will have a bit of a problem going, and we don't need that. So, in terms of ships, 376. It's not too much. But we'll have to be on the lookout for dangerous situations. There's another fleet incoming. We uh, now have some debris. So let's start sending our scientists back. And we're still waiting for the station to pop, uh, to pop back in. The next step is gore and I want to be healed. Uh, we lost actually three. Quite unfortunate. Come on now, heal up. There you go, come on, technology is concealed. Uh, we can now upgrade our stations. Ooh, interesting. Uh, minerals into rare crystals. We're we making zero. Yeah, you know, these are way, way interesting, way more. Especially the armor. Come on, heal up. Okay, so here we go, let's heal. Now, we know that we might lose this system because I'm way too easy. It, it, it independence guaranteed. Yeah. You know, that will not do anything. If they declare war upon us, it would be actually... It would be way better. It would be way better because they would not be defended by the defense uh, pack. Uh, tile blocker is done. Let's take uh, the cheap tile blocker. So we don't care about it. We have the time project. There we go, ship uh, are healed now. Let's go send them in. And you, research that project. Let's take a quick look on what will happen. Will we find another fleet in here? We have unemployment and a uh, lack of amenities. Hmm. Okay, so we need something to boost amenities. But we did that with hive houses. That's a thing that we could do. We will lose some houses eventually. This will create three jobs. No. No. Well, let's go with the maintenance depot. Come on, I want to see that system. A uh, peace offering between these two. So, yeah, they, they won't be going in here anytime soon. That means they will be focusing upon us. By the looks of it, their fleet was already in here. I thank them so much for it. They were fighting that station. They have nothing to defend them with. This is not going to be the hardest of fights. So, yeah, th this is going to be a win. We're already chewing down upon... 
everything they hold dear. And if this is their final planet, I think that it is, all of this will fall free. There is a uh, fleet in here. Will they pull back? Yes, uh, they will win that. I don't care about it. So let's send the armies in there. Uh, this, this fight is all already over. Oh, that's the other station. Well, I was like, no, that can't be. How is that possible? But here we go. This fight is, is, is definitely over. So we got your station, mate. What will you do? You don't have enough fleets. We're taking everything down. What is expiring? Um, farming subsidies. And yeah, let's go and do more farming subsidies. Let's get rid of that. Otherwise, it will confuse me. And I already get confused way too often. Uh, hyperdrives too. Quite nice. Ooh. Shields. Sh weapons. Chemical plants. Volatile modes for the upgrade for the um, the alloy factories. Oh, so interesting. Let's go with shield survivability. I think that's important. Uh, let's go over here. Let's research that project. Oh, you're declaring war, are you now? Interesting. So they declared war upon us. Now we still have this one fleet over here. Fleet is at full strength. We can actually upgrade the fleet. And we'll just sit down over there. We don't need to do anything else. We'll just sit down over here. So, yeah, we got ourselves at the end of one war and into the next one. And we'll get some territory and planets from it. Eventually, we'll have to start rolling, you know? Uh, it's all about swarming. If we sit still for too long, it's, uh, it's not going to work. So let's build all of these stations and we'll, uh, we'll head over here. So we want to be careful with that. We have a few stations that we can still build. This is a very nice system to have. As well as this one, there's two choke points. I would like to have had, have had this one as a choke point, but we didn't. So no need to complain about it. It doesn't work like that. I think we might just want to get out of this war immediately. So land the armies. And it, it will end the war. It's uh, just simple as that. Everything else will fall free. We don't care. Let's reinforce. Let's heal up. And we'll send in the armies. I just care about this one. So, are we upgrading first? We'll uh, talk about that into the next episode, guys. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As always, leave me a like, leave me comments, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.